This is the hairstyle I'm working with. Well, let me clarify. Who are you talking to? Finally got out of work. It is Friday. The weekend has begun. I am going to start off by going on a run. We're going on a run. We are going on a run with this one. I know, I see you. We're getting there. Oh boy. This hair. It's killing me. It's just killing me. And somehow I lose all my scrunchies in the house. I'm down to one. I don't know where they go. This is the hairstyle I'm working with. I'm hoping this will keep me warm. It's 50 degrees, but it is so windy outside that it's gonna feel 10 degrees colder. Rock in the blue. <laughs> She sees me. My husband thinks that I'm trying to be a hipster with, with my hat, but let me clarify. I just want to keep my ears warm and my hair is a mess and I don't have the best hairline going on so I just like to cover it up and that's all. Does that clarify for you? Nutritional yeast. Lots of it. I was able to harvest some greens from my garden today so I'm gonna throw some in the scrambled mixture. Big Cedar Trail. I think there's two of them. Look at that. Wow. That one over there has some elk poo or deer poop by it. Love a good relaxing walk in the morning. And 
then this is right off the Snoqualmie Valley path. So it's fairly short and it's just nice scenery, really nice. So if you live in a North Bend area, it's nice to go off the, the main bike trail, just do a little bit of exploring. And this one has some signage and it's just a little 10 minute walk. I decided that today is gonna be a self-care day. It's been a busy week. Yes, I do need a self-care. Had a good breakfast this morning, get my nails done, stroll around. It's just gonna be a nice relaxing day, extremely necessary. And probably do some straightening out. I don't know. We'll see what the day has in store for me. I have no plans. I definitely wanna do some journaling and relaxing, but very necessary. I have just got my nails done. Pretty simple when I do nails. I don't do any gels or, oh no, I already scraped. Look at this, already. Well, we tried. But anyway, um, came back home to reapply my sunscreen, Delta MD, the um, Broad Spectrum SPF 46. I just like to reapply it, you know, every three hours or so. It's unusually sunny today in the Pacific Northwest, so I want to make sure that I get the coverage I need as much as I want the vitamin D. And yeah, I am on the hunt for some sunglasses because the ones that I have are Ray-Bans and they leave a mark over here. They're very heavy. Not particularly fond of leaving the marks on my nose. It's just need a lighter pair. So I'm gonna browse at the Sungloss Hut and see what we got. And I'm also gonna do my hands. I should have used a body sunscreen because that one is typically for my face, but ah, uh, feels so good. I wanted to show you cute that my mom had got me for Christmas. This right here is sitting on top of my um, chest and it's very portable and a little magnifying glass for eyebrows and you can put your phone here and watch videos while you're doing your face thing. I mean, I'm not huge on makeup, but I tend to do my eyebrows and always put on moisturizer and SPF and that's about it. But I like this. I enjoy the different colors. It has a white light, bright light, and more of um, a tungsten light. Brighter and lighter. So that's kind of cool. like it. Um, I'll just put my SPF products right there. And that's typically, I keep it simple. Very simple when it comes to putting myself together. I should really try more, but this is the best you'll get out of me for now. Stay away. 
But you're obsessed with time No clue what's at stake A little milk frother That my husband got me for Christmas So Oh no, I'm realizing Yes, okay I don't have any nut milk Except these little kid size uh, Vanilla almond milk I usually go for unsweetened But the uh, power went out about a week ago and these were the only ones left for nut milk so I grabbed a few about how to use these so I'm going to pour that into here I don't know I don't need the whole teaspoon I don't like things that sweet to be honest and we will do almost two teaspoons of that Close it. And there it does its little business. Pour that into here. Came out nice and frothy. Look at that. I mean, you can't go wrong. At that. Good, not delicious, but good. So I had my birthday this week, which my husband came down to celebrate the evening of my birthday. He treated me with some vegan cupcakes and a vegan cookie. And the weather is kind of rainy. I think it's gonna snow, right Kane? Yep. I think it might snow today. So I might take the girls on a little walk and just wanna chill this, this afternoon and early morning, take care of some computer work and do some cleaning and maybe some financial planning. I have yet to do that. I had voice during my gold video that I wanted to start planning a budgeting list and I got one of those cash envelopes, which I'll show in a second. I will start using cash instead of my card to purchase items throughout the week. And it just kind of helps me by visually seeing the money leave my hands instead of using a card because I don't really see it and it doesn't I don't really feel guilty when I purchase the item, so this will help me with less purchasing and specifically when it comes to food. So the food department kills me financially. Definitely puts a damper on my wallet. I just don't tend to make a grocery list and keep to it. I just go in there hungry and I just grab so many items. Poor planning on my part and I think that's that would really help if I start budgeting with food and having a set amount of cash and I dedicate to food per week. Coming up with that number is gonna be pretty difficult. You know, it depends on what type of food you're getting, if you're buying organic, and maybe I have to toss this word organic out the door and just get regular fruits and vegetables and see what fruits and veggies are in season. So it'll be cheaper in price. Look at the comparison between organic and non-organic uh, because I think about the dirty dozen. At the end of the day, if you're having more vegetables and fruit and less processed food, I think you're doing good. So yeah, just wanted to check in, say hi. I have just been super busy this week and taking things day by day and not overburdening myself or and trying to not overwhelm myself too much. I am busy with the work stuff and it's taking up a lot of my time. And I really want to stick to ending work at a decent hour and not letting it drag all day because it's really getting into my personal time and I think that's very sacred time in a person's day and it revitalizes me for the next day. I'm gonna sip on this. Too much sweetener in there but not bad.
meal today. I have here some spinach, pinto beans, quinoa, red tomatoes, carrots, and some leftover onion and zucchini that was grilled um, yesterday. Yeah, pretty simple. If anybody thinks that eating plant-based is expensive, I mean, beans, quinoa, beans, rice, vegetables, simple, inexpensive. quinoa just right this time. Usually either too mushy or too mushy because I add too much water but it's just right.